Hello crafty friends and welcome to another clean and simple card making video. Today I'm going to create two cards for you using the same techniques but using different colours. So I have a card panel here, it's smooth white cardstock and I've cut it out with a stitched rectangle die and popped it in my stamp positioner. And I'm going to stamp three painty stripes on my card panel. First off, I'm stamping my bottom swipe and I'm using Cotton Candy Catherine Pooler ink, which is a nice light pink colour. I'm stamping it three times because this is a silicone stamp and water-based inks like this tend to bead up on it. So stamping it multiple times with a stamp positioner helps to get a good impression. Once I'd done those three stamps, I moved my panel down in the positioner two centimeters that's almost an inch and then stamped the swipe again in it's a girl which is a medium saturation pink again i did that three times to get good coverage and then i moved my panel down another two centimeters and stamped three times in party dress which is my strongest red that I have in the Catherine Pooler collection. And so now I've got three stripes in three different saturations of red stacked one on top of the other. Next, I took another panel and did exactly the same thing without moving the stamp using some blue-green inks. The lightest one is Cummerbund, the middle one is Fiesta Blue and the darkest one is All That Jazz. I actually only stamped All That Jazz twice because it was saturated enough to give me a really good impression. What are your favourite colours to use on cards? I think greeny blues, really greens are mine because I find them really calming. Let me know in the comments. So once I'd done that, I set those off to dry and I cut two tags out of smooth white cardstock. I picked this particular tag because it's the perfect size for the happy birthday stamp that I wanted to use. To make sure that I stamped my sentiment in exactly the right place on my tags, I use my Alter New stamp wheel because it's got a grip mat in it which allows me to easily stamp on small die cuts like this so that I didn't have to realign my stamp every time I wanted to stamp because I wanted to actually stamp four times, I put a jig in and a jig is just something that holds the die cut in place and in this case it was the bit of card that I'd cut the die cut from so I popped the jig in put a tag in the jig lined up a stamp picked it up with the stamp positioner lid thing and then stamped the blue happy birthday in all that jazz and I stamped on both sides of the tags and you'll see why in a minute and then I took that tag out put the other tag in and stamped on it both sides again in party dress to attach my tags to my cards or my panels rather I decided I was going to add them with thread which is why I stamped on both sides of the tag they're not going to be glued down flat they might flap about a bit and turn themselves over so I wanted the sentiment to always be visible and this way it is so with a pink card I popped some tape runner on the back of the panel took some gold sparkly thread and wrapped it around the card between the top and middle paint stripes and I kept wrapping until I had a few strands around and then I wrapped some more around and around and around the card but I threaded it through the tag each time I hope you can see what I mean once I was satisfied with the thickness of the band of thread I secured the end to the back of the panel simply by sticking it to a bit of exposed tape runner. And then I took my high tack PVA glue and glued my panel down onto the front of a card blank. 
This car blank is four by six inches. The panel is a bit smaller than that. So I'll get a nice white border. I did chop a bit off the bottom to make the border equal sized all the way around. With the blue card, instead of wrapping thread all the way around the panel, I decided to sew through the panel. So I took a pin and put a hole one and a half centimeters in from the right and one and a half centimeters in from the left in between the top two paint stripes. And I used these to sew through. So I put some silver metallic thread on a fine sewing needle and sewed through the holes, again securing the end of the thread to the back of the panel with some tape runner. And each time I sewed across the front of the card, I put my needle and thread through the hole in the tag. So that's how it's attached on that card. So here are the two cards all done and dusted. The inks have smoothed out beautifully. I like the sparkle and shine from the threads and the little tags with the sentiment on. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and it's given you some ideas of things you can do with similar items that you might have in your stash. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up, let me know in the comments, subscribe and ring that notification bell and I'll see you back here tomorrow for my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.